is probably going to be the craziest video you've seen all day because today we'll be looking at the steamiest R-rated movies on Amazon Prime. I'm talking about movies with lustful scenes and dialogue mixed with overarching themes of betrayal, romance, and forbidden love. Here are the top 10 steamiest R-rated movies on Amazon Prime. Starting off with Ben Affleck's Deep Water. This is probably one of the more interesting movies that Ben Affleck has ever made. In this movie, he plays a retired tech genius who's married to the exotic Melinda, played by Ana de Armas. The problem arises when Melinda, who is heavily on the adulterous side, likes to have affairs with younger and better looking men than Vic. The worst part is that she does it right in front of the guy. Yeah, in Deep Water, Vic has to watch his wife sleep with other men, and for that reason, he chooses to openly do nothing about it. It, nor does he file for divorce. Through it all, Melinda's debauchery sends Vic over the edge and he ends up carrying out some pretty gruesome actions. The performances from both lead actors were stunning and it reflected in the authentic steamy scenes portrayed as well as the dysfunctional couple dynamic. Right next up is Zack and Mary make a porno. Well, this really wouldn't be a list of steamy movies if Seth Rogen wasn't involved. This movie centers on two friends who have known each other since they were in kindergarten. Zack and Mary are played by Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks. When they're both both down on their luck as adults and are struggling financially, they decide to take advantage of the heavily promiscuous tendencies of today's youth and start their own adult film enterprise, hiring some of their friends as their cast and crew and shooting erotic parodies of major blockbusters. Soon they both find out it's not exactly easy to work in the adult industry, nor is it easy to separate feelings from getting it on. The movie is funny and laced with incredible charm and chemistry of Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks, and as Michael Phillips said about the film, it pushes its R rating pretty hard. Watch as these two go on a roller coaster of challenges as they try to make it big in the adult film business. All right, are you ready for some afternoon delight? When I saw that Jeff Radner and Katherine Hahn did a movie together, I was like, yeah, sign me up. But man, if I had only known what I was getting myself into. In the movie, Rachel is a stay-at-home mother whose marriage is going through a bit of a rough patch where she and her husband no longer have coital relations, which she finds very frustrating. She takes her husband husband, Jeff, to a strip club to spice things up, and there she meets a stripper named McKenna. Somehow McKenna ends up living with them, and this kind of turns their lives upside down, because not only is McKenna a stripper, she also sleeps with people for money. Rachel gets more than she bargained for as she enters into the world of McKenna. Still, the situation sets her down a path of reconciliation with her husband, which definitely improves their bedroom lives. Catherine Hall's performance in this movie is honestly spectacular, one that I highly recommend you see. All right, way back in the day before there was 50 shades of gray there was the secretary honestly i don't recommend you watch this movie if you don't like movies with rather uncomfortable erotic scenes the secretary focuses on a high profile lawyer named gray as he hires a previously psychiatric patient who is prone to self-harm named lee the two soon enter into a rather dominant submissive relationship where lee does and obeys every command that gray gives prompting them to have a rather sadomachistic coital relationship the scenes are absolutely crazy. I'm talking pet play, spanking, masochism, and you will not believe what this guy had her do in the very ending scene. Like I said, the scenes can get uncomfortable, but it all adds up to the charm and highlights just how crazy these kinds of relationships can be. All right, next up is This 2011 movie is so much more than meets the eye. It's an extremely low budget film with lesser known actors, but the messages it tries to pass are what makes it so interesting. When a mechanic named Brent and goes to see a manicurist to help him get the black stains out of his hands, he reveals to her that his marriage is currently in shambles and he's trying to save it. So being so nice, she takes him down a journey of exploring the sense of touch, showing him how a simple touch can reveal the deepest longings and even heal the wounded parts of a soul. She teaches him to explore the sense of touch in very unconventional ways and this makes him fall for her and they begin a major erotic relationship that greatly affects his marriage. For a low budget indie film, touch offers a very moving story and really hammers down on accentuating the human need for well touch Next up is The Babysitter. Now, this is a story that just quickly flies off the handle. When a teenager named Shirley gets hired as a babysitter for her family, she ends up sleeping with the dad at an abandoned train yard, which prompts the man to pay her extra. Then she gets the grand idea to turn her babysitting business into a call girl business, where she gets to sleep with men from each home while pretending to be a babysitter. See, I told you, it flies off the handle. But that's not even the worst part. Shirley also introduces her friends, Melissa and Brenda, to the business. But little do they know, the complications 
things that would come their way as they choose to start such a business. The Babysitter has some pretty graphic scenes and some great performances from Katherine Watterson, Lauren Burkell, and John Leguizamo. All right, and then we got The Voyeurs. Now, this movie is probably one of the most messed up movies on this list, and it's pretty interesting. You see in the movie, a young couple named Pippa and Thomas move into a new apartment in Montreal. When they move in, they notice that they can pretty much see everything that's going on with the couple next door. It turns out that the guy next door is a well-known photographer named Seb, and he consistently has a string of affairs with all kinds of women. Given the close distance in both apartments, Thomas and Pippa watch as Seb continuously cheats on his partner, Julia. Pippa gets overly invested in this couple and it ends up destroying her relationship in more ways than one and this all culminates in a massive twist at the end that i never saw coming seriously guys the voyeur stands as one of the best amazon original thrillers i've seen in a while the movie has sydney sweeney justice smith and hardy and natasha lou bordizo all rendering some incredible performances now another one that we got to discuss here is the only living boy in new york now this tells the story of thomas webb a college dropout who catches his father having an affair with a a woman named Joanna. Normally, this would be bad and cause a lot of problems, but it doesn't happen in the way that you would expect. You see, the real problem starts when Thomas ends up falling in love with his father's mistress, and he ends up sleeping with her in a rather steamy fashion. Thomas also has a mother, Judith, and a neighbor, W.F. Gerald. Thomas's involvement with Joanna opens the door for a host of chaotic occurrences that tie all the aforementioned names in a pretty interesting way, while revealing deep secrets within his family that completely flip the script. The movie is rife with drama, suspense, and Jeff Bridges is freaking amazing in it. Now this one here, Sleeping With Other People, discusses two college students, Lainey and Jake. They meet one night and they both mm, pop each other's cherries in an unexpected one night stand. They meet again years later, except now they've both turned into sex addicts. Lainey is stuck in love with one guy while Jake has commitment issues. They both decide to just be friends and try to keep things platonic, even though they're obviously attracted to each other, but it ends ends up blowing up in their faces. The movie stars Alison Brie, Jason Sudeikis, and Adam Scott, and they all bring their A-game. Honestly, the movie is really funny. I personally love Alison Brie in Community, so it was a lot of fun to see her play a more mature role while retaining the essence of her comedic chops mixed with Jason Sudeikis' brazenness. Now, probably the most steamy movie on Amazon Prime is The Handmaiden. It is a Korean adaptation of the novel Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. The movie features a con man who is trying to seduce a Japanese heiress to marry him. So he enlists the help of a pickpocket who will help him convince her to be his bride. This opens the way for a fair bit of betrayals, double crossing and lies that culminate into yet again an ending that I did not see coming. The Handmaiden is impactful and raw and doesn't hold back with the R rating. It's probably why the movie got an accolade at the 71st Academy British Awards. So that's it for the steamiest movies on Amazon. Let me know what you think in the comments below and also be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button here and check out our other videos that we have on this channel, which will help you get the most out of your favorite streaming platforms. Thanks so much again, guys, for watching Cinema Cascade.